Accounting for our environment with SIA. The system of environmental economic accounting SIA. SIA organizes and presents statistics on the environment and its relationship with the economy. SIA is a guide to integrate economic, environmental, and social data into a single coherent framework for holistic decision making. Having integrated the data within a single framework, indicators can be derived that provide insights into the changes in environment. The CI uses concepts, definitions, and classifications consistent with the system of national accounts in order to facilitate the integration of environmental and economic statistics. By doing so, the CI allows us to develop indicators and conduct analysis on the economy and environment nexus. Indicators derived from CI accounts can be used coherently in conjunction with standard economic indicators. Maldives Roadmap for Environment Economic Statistics The roadmap have been compiled with guidance at ministerial level and with the participation of many stakeholders with the objective to improve integrated environment economic statistics in alignment with SIA. The roadmap identifies the national policy priorities and pathways for sustainable development. It identifies the institutional mechanisms which establishes roles and responsibilities of stakeholders in order to fulfill reporting obligations of policy priorities and multilateral environmental agreements. This roadmap outlines the short-term priorities to be fulfilled within the year 2024 to 2025. The key priorities include waste management, biodiversity conservation, energy management, coastal erosion and development. Also, the roadmap further identifies the medium and long-term priorities to be committed within 2025 to 2030. This includes mainly water availability and wastewater management, biodiversity conservation, vegetation loss, agrochemical management, and fisheries sustainability. Looking closely at the short-term priorities, firstly on the waste. Solid and hazardous waste management is recognized as a critical environmental issue. The data for waste generated from resorts is significantly higher than the waste generated by islands. The data of waste generated from resorts can be easily collected in comparison to the local islands. Given the focus on oceans, developmental activities such as reclamation, land clearance and infrastructure development are among the major causes of loss of habitats and biodiversity. Loss of Coastal habitats, including lagoons, reefs, seagrass beds, and mangroves in the Maldives is particularly associated with dredging of harbors and reclamation. In addition to coastal development activities, coral bleaching due to an increase in sea surface temperature, rising extraction of reef fish for tourism-related consumption is common. The ocean account under this priority area will therefore focus on coral extent and condition. On the area of energy, the provision of energy within the Maldives remains a critical factor in fostering economic growth. In the Maldives, the most significant energy conversion is from diesel to electricity. Given the Maldives' commitment to attaining net zero emissions by 2030, it becomes imperative to ascertain the precise extent of fuel consumption, particularly within the tourism industry. Under this priority area, two accounts will be produced, namely energy and GHG accounts with specific linkages to tourism in accordance with the statistical framework for measuring sustainable tourism.
Given the importance to land in the Maldives, land is the scarcest resource and makes up only about 1% of the total area. Due to the small size of the islands, the whole land area is considered as a coastal zone. It is important to understand the changes in the land area over time. Therefore, land accounts can play a crucial role in steering the process towards sustainable practices. We believe that this roadmap will act as a single reference point to ensure all stakeholders share a common understanding and provide a clear path towards achieving specific goals. This will require strong commitment, partnerships and expert knowledge and data sharing within all stakeholders. Let's all work together for better data for better lives.